how to configure NetFlow or original NetFlow on Cisco IOS. NetFlow is a Cisco IOS application that provides, is it still working? Yeah. Uh, is statistics on packets flowing through the routing devices in the network. Uh, NetFlow is the standard for acquiring IP operational data from IP services. And it provides data to enable network and security monitoring, network planning, traffic analysis, and IP accounting. NetFlow identifies packet flows for both ingress and egress IP packets. It does not involve any connection setup protocol, either between routers or to any other networking device or, or end station. It does not require any change externally, either to the packets themselves or to any networking device. NetFlow is a completely, trans completely transparent to the existing network, including end stations and application software and network devices like LAN switches. Also, uh, NetFlow captures and exports NetFlow capture and export are <clears throat> performed independently on each internet working device. NetFlow need not be operational on each router in the network. So we have NetFlow flows, a flow network, I mean a flow, a NetFlow network flow is defined as a unidirectional stream of packets between a given sources and destination, source and destination. The source and destination are each defined by a network layer IP, IP address, I mean by a network layer IP address and transport layer source and destination port numbers. Specifically, a flow is defined by the combination of the following seven key fields. So you have seven. So you have source address, uh, destination IP address, a source port number, destination port number, you have layer three protocol type, and you have type of service, and you have input logical interface. So I'm going to configure original NetFlow on in this video, and this is how you configure it configure. So you just have to enable it. This is how you enable it on a interface. So I'm going to use this topology and I'm going to configure NetFlow on R1. So let me proceed with the configuration. So I'm going to capture the inbound traffic uh, and that would be I'm going to configure NetFlow here inbound coming into R1 the traffic coming into R1 so I'm just going to just copy and paste these commands you can just say that and then this is how you configure date NetFlow NetFlow Net data export using the version nine export format. So in this case, uh, <clears throat> just assuming that I mean in our topology, our NetFlow connector is this, and it's listening on this port twenty fifty five. So that's what I'm configuring configuring on R one. Okay, and version nine, and we have also one, five, and nine. I mean, one and five. And this is how you specify oops, nine, and this is how you specify the source interface. And I don't have to do this anymore because this is already configured. I'll just remove that and then I will also configure 
the top talkers. So I'm going to just copy these commands. Okay. So so I just uh, specify ten top talkers and then sort by bytes and then sort by packets. So can I can I uh, configure both? Let me just double check. So. Yeah, I guess uh, it overridden the uh, bytes, so I will just stick with bytes actually. <clears throat> stick with bytes. Okay, looks good, and I'm also going to configure the timeout, cache timeout. And this is in milliseconds, so I'm just going to 30,000 milliseconds. And that's it. That's how you can configure original NetFlow and uh, top talkers on a router. And now I can just verify uh, our configurations. And of course, I can just use this net flow or just say flow. Verify the configuration. So, okay, this is configured on this interface. Oops. Yeah, this is configured. <coughs> Uh, we enabled NetFlow, which is this is the command on this interface, and this is how you configure the the uh, NetFlow data export, or this is how you configure the uh, basically the you know the uh, NetFlow collector IP and the UDP port number. And this is the version, and this is the source. And this is how you configure. Actually, this is. Uh, I'm gonna just do that. The uh, top talkers. Okay, our configuration looks good. So I'm just going to issue these commands. Okay, looks good. And this, okay, looks good. So this here, I actually tested this before. Uh, I mean, prior to recording this video. So that's why we see uh, flows and packets here in this output. And I'm gonna skip this first. I'm gonna do this command. Uh, so here we see that, so, I basically just uh, ping from R2. I ping our PC1. That's why we are we are we see these uh, flows. Yeah. So actually, just one flow. And of course, this here. This is where you verify the NetFlow collector IP. And the source that you use. So in our case, I uh, use this <coughs> interface, which is this, and this is the destination in the version nine, version nine flow records, and other things. Okay, for main cache. Okay, BRF ID default, which is the global routing. And what else? This one here. Uh, this is one of the commands as well. If show commands, if you are, I think you have to configure this actually, NetFlow. I mean, template. 
but in my case, I'm not, I didn't configure it. I just added the show command here, or the verification command. So now I will proceed with verifying the top talkers. So I'm going to actually ping from R2. I'm going to ping R1, I mean PC1. And this is the command. So this is the maximum repeat that you can do actually. So I'm doing the maximum. Yeah. So now if I <clears throat> do this command, uh, show IP flow top talkers, I will see that I have a top talker. And the source IP is this one here, R2. And the destination IP address is PC1 here. You can see the IP address. And this is the bytes. And if we, uh, let me just, let me, let me do this command again. So we see that should be increasing. Yeah, it is increasing here. So 10K, now it's 11K. So yeah, that's how you can configure original NetFlow on Cisco IOS or on in our case, Cisco router and uh, NetFlow top talkers.